I'm here with Audrey and Sam, and they have a, a phenomenal looking bus build that I wanted you guys to see. They call it the Octobus, and so with that, I present you Sam and Audrey. Hi. Where did you guys come from to be here? <laughs> so uh, we're from Quebec, Canada. Um, we've been on the road for four months now. So we went to Vancouver and decided it was too cold. So we cross over, use a transport company. Yeah. Uh, okay, with so many people buying things like Westphalias and vans, how did you guys decide, you know, let's get a big bus? The space. Uh, yeah, the space, <laughs> that's for sure. We wanted to have a home on wheels, something that we can feel that we're at home everywhere. And we have a lot of stuff to carry on. We want to do scuba diving. We've got our paddle boards inside. So just getting all this gear, it was taking so much place in the van or something like that. that we could not have done it with that. So that's why we went with full size bus. Did you have other friends that had buses also? Nope. Not so at all. you just blaze your own trail on this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We ne actually, we've never seen a converted bus before we did ours. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah. We took a look on uh, YouTube, find some conversion video and said, okay, we're doing something like this and we went our own way and find something I think something pretty original that we can say I would say I would have to agree <laughs> you mind giving us the tour sure all right let's take a look <laughs> so uh, yeah so we're, we're making some repairs in the underneath storage right now so that's why everything is out <laughs> okay but, uh, that was from uh, that was from the company so we had to reinforce it with plywood but uh, it's a big storage that we can use. There's the propane here. On the other side, we've got the battery bank, the inverter charger, and more generator. stuff. The generator is on the other side too. So, uh, pretty useful, but it's a little bit too low. So we can see that we scratch it a little a couple of time because yeah. uh, when yeah. we are, we're going over something, it's it's really. This is really a, an issue. Yeah, but otherwise we love it so far. <laughs> this was a, a like a municipal bus in town, like around the city uh, bus or something. It was uh, a school bus, but they use it. For, it was it was still on the road actually. Yeah, they yeah. use it like for travel, for uh, like a school vacation or things like that, uh, end of the year uh, trip things. So that's why there's storage underneath. But uh, it was on the road every day when we bought it. So. How did you find it? Uh, that's uh, kind of strange. Or we went to the dealership and they referred us to an, uh, a one, uh, how do we say that, a company that was running school bus in our district. So we just went there and asked the owner, you have something for us? And we came up with this. <laughs> I think it looks great. Let's yeah. take a look inside. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So the cat goes in here, and there is a litter box. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we can open the door and remove the litter box. Just behind it, there's a solar controller, just behind that. So, uh, and a lot more storage too. So that was kind of a mixed storage. After that, we've got a couch that doubles as a bed. So we just slide it out, makes a full size bed, a little bit shorter though, than uh, the table. We made the bus for us too, so it's big, but it's meant for two people. So. This looks absolutely great. You've got both contemporary furniture, but you've also got the rustic uh, salvaged wood feel too, mm -hmm. yeah. and they really pair well together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where, how, tell me the story about the wood, this uh, distressed wood. So that's the or an original barn wood from Quebec. That's a company that uh, like uh, recycle them treat them so we can buy them and they're already like already planked mm -hmm. so that's not salvage that's well that's salvage from the company but we bought it from the company mm -hmm. otherwise we wanted like a wood feeling but not too much we wanted something modern at the same time so that's where we came with the two uh, two style let's say in the same uh, in the same bus yeah and it works really well together yeah. These uh, cabinets, I'm guessing, in the United States, we would say this maybe came from Ikea? Uh, yeah, no. the countertop is from Ikea, oh but uh, the rest we custom made them. Uh, my cousin has a refacing uh, company. Cousin, use our own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, something we wanted, we lived in an RV and trailer. We said we need a, a, garbage, a bin, garbage bin, a recycle, a recycle bin. bin. That's something that we found that the, the normal RV were like lacking most of the time. So we built something big there. We've got our instrument here. So we've got a water pump, 
the eater, the inverter, and then we got the how much fresh water, gray water we've got, the battery. So everything's here. Uh, other than that, that's cabinet for pretty cabinet, much. We have plenty of, of storage, really. Like, look how big it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's on rollers. Now, do you travel with those plates up up above like that, or do you take them out when you no, drive? No, everything stays there. And these yeah. stay in okay? Yeah, or they're yeah. kind of yeah, locked in? Yeah. yeah, there's locked pretty much on each door, or double locked too, so. Mm. Is this a diesel? Yeah, yeah it's a diesel, 7.2 Mercedes. What kind of mileage do you know? Have you ever run the mileage to see what you're getting? I got it in litter, so <laughs> I, I'm running around 22 to 26 liter per 100 kilometers. Okay. So mile per gallon, I have to do the Yeah, and I'd have to uh, do them too. Yeah. But uh, it's pretty good, actually. We're impressed on how much we're going with the tank. And we've got, I think, a 100 gallon tank of fuel. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're not fueling so much. Right. <laughs> it takes a long time to go through it. Yeah. This is a great platform. And it probably rides so much better than my bus. Mine's a 1996 and it just rattles. And I mean, I love my bus, but you get into something like this and think, wow, life could be like this. <laughs> it's really amazing. But yeah, we, we love it so far. We didn't have much problem except like normal leak and things like that. But otherwise it's been uh, a joyride. Yeah. What do you do for heat? You're from Canada. It's cold. How do you keep warm? Uh, just underneath there, there's a propane heater just below the stove. Okay. 35 BDU, 35,000 BDU. So it eats plenty, but it consumes a lot of propane. So it's expensive when you're out in the cold for long. But uh, yeah, we've salvaged all the equipment that you can see the water eater, the, the, some of the tanks, the everything here from a used uh, trailer. So uh, okay. it was, a, I think, a tree fall on it. So the equipment was already, it was all in good shape. We took everything from it and put in the bus. So also it was a legal requirement for Quebec to transform in an in RV. So there was some special rules that we needed to respect. So this was filling up the gap. <laughs> so did you get a, an RV uh, title on this? Yeah. yeah, so it's titled as an RV. It's insu fully insured for the value of the whole bus. So that was something that we needed to do and it was a And we a wanted big to do it also yeah. because uh, some people like, they, they, they don't bother about that and just like, I don't know what to say in English. Fly by the seat of their pants and hope for the best. Yeah. yeah exactly. Would you mind sharing the company that you went through? If there's people watching from Canada, I know a lot of you guys do, and you want to build out a bus and they don't know where to get the insurance. Do you remember the name? The insurance we've got is from Intact. Intact, Intact insurance, gets in, insurance yeah. but uh, it's really hard to get a insurance on a bus. Even ours that is uh, certified as an RV most of the company don't want to deal with that so you need to do your research and uh, be uh, ready to make a lot of phone call but intact insurance was the one for us I know uh, okay yeah, I've we spent have days owned. trying to find one company that that wanted to work with us yeah, it was yeah. really hard yeah <laughs> all right so we've talked about uh, how we uh, gather together the wood the cabinets the heat the appliances moving on down bathroom shower yeah. Sure. Go. So uh, we and bought a Unique fridge. Uh, so that's okay. a 12 volt uh, fridge with the freezer at the bottom. We love it so far. It's 10 cube, 10 or 11 cubic feet total, and it makes a it makes a great job. We've got a lot of storage inside, and it's keeping it cold and frosty. So, so you got rustic meets like contemporary <laughs> meets retro, uh, retro. <laughs> exactly it all works uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, i think it does <laughs> yeah it really does well, it really I does like it. that yeah. was the first thing i noticed when i stepped in here and there's so much to notice stepping in here <laughs> yeah i absolutely love it that is a uh a uh, did you say propane or uh no. it's 12 volt only 12 Tw volt 12 volt yeah so we've got uh solar on top we've mm -hmm. got uh 1260 watt of solar uh, and uh, we've got 800 hemp hours of battery and 12 volt AGM. So we're in the desert right here. It's fun. We can use whatever we want. It's always full. But in British Columbia and Canada, the sun is not strong enough yeah. in the winter. So we had to run the generator most of the time. Okay. But here with the sun, it's fine. <laughs> So, storage storage um, yeah that's the we, we brought too many clothes 
<laughs> so <laughs> this is our clothes right here. <laughs> And this is Sam's and, and mine, but you know, we always wear the same thing, so. Yeah, it's nice to be able to stretch out your laundry visits, right? When yeah, you go to the laundry yeah, mat, exactly. make them last as long as you can. Yeah. That's how I see it. <laughs> you got a so nice go touch right it. here oh, for the octopus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you can open the light if you want. Just there. Flip this? Right yeah. Okay. So this is a composting toilet. Yeah, so we bought the uh, nature's head. We didn't want to fundle with building our own. We didn't have the time at the at the end of the build, so we bought this, and we love it so far. You're it's happy with it. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive for what it is, but it does work. It does not smell, and it's still mm. pretty efficient for what we do. So. And you can be out off grid using your solar, loaded up with water, and you don't have to worry about dumping a black water tank periodically. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So we can do about two to three weeks with that, with both of us, without emptying it. So mm. okay. So shower? Yeah, shower. Yeah, so the shower we we bought a full size showers. It was ex approximately the same price as buying a um, just the pad at the bottom and building the walls. Thirty one by thirty one. Yeah. So uh, it was kind of a hassle to put in the bus because it was uh, too high when we lift it up. Mm -hmm. So we that uh, actually the first thing that got in the bus before the the ceiling before the this everything yeah. and the mattress. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we have a full uh, king size bed at the back. That's the only uh, way to go. <laughs> and, but it cannot be moved again. So if we want to remove the king size bed, we need to cut it out now. <laughs> right. So yeah, one thing at a time. Yeah. Don't worry about that now. <laughs> So we made a, a little bit of storage uh, up yeah, there. Yeah, I can for, show uh, them. I can open it for you. So here, like we we have games and playing cards, some knittings, <laughs> and the screen as well. Yeah. So we've got a projector that we use uh, either in the bedroom or in the living room. We just move the screen around. Oh, yeah. Where does the sound come from on the projector? Uh, when you're playing stuff? You can either put it on. A, we use an independent speaker, but the projector has a speaker on itself. It's just not. You just Bluetooth good. it to a. Yeah. So it's actually it's already in the living room right now. Okay. The one oh, I see it now. Ceiling. Yeah, it's battery powered. It lasts about two hours, or you can plug it in a USB. So. That's cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Where did you get that? Uh, it's a uh, Vankyo, V V A N K Y O. Of uh, Amazon, or they have their own, web own website. Okay, yeah, Burger. I'll look it up if folks want to add that to uh, their yeah. build. I'll see if I can find it for them. <laughs> so Big thanks to Sam and Audrey for taking the time to give us the tour. If you'd like to continue to follow them online, you can do so on their Instagram page at The Octobus. Thanks. <laughs> How did it go? Very good. Yeah. Everything's good. The camera, the mic was on, and everything. I did. I heard a noise, and I wasn't sure. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes for me it's like the. Of course, I have to pay attention to the the shadow of the mics. If there is there was too much contrast at some point, I pull down. So these are some of the things that. Uh, also, when I pull you, I'm sorry we talk about this, but sometimes okay. I pull you like this. It's like to get uh, because of the light situation. Right. So I, I do awesome. this. It's like come this way, turn around, you know, change the angle. I forget sometimes and just like, I think, well, Sev's got the camera. I've been doing this for, since 2015, but I still go, well, Sev's got the camera. You're doing a great job. What do I need to be in the shop for? And I'm like, oh, I gotta get in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? All right, it's good, it's great, thanks. All right, if you, if you something is not good, you just come back and we'll, we'll do, do it. Do you guys want to, maybe they're all on their t cell phones. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like that, I've got my 10 best right up here. If you'd like to consider becoming a patron, I've got the link for that right here. And finally, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when more videos like this come out. Thanks. See ya.